Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the lands of Akathen. No professionals, no fancy tech, just a group of women playing an all-original game of Dungeons & Dragons. I'm Jeff, your Game Master, and here's what happened last time. The four and their allies traveled back to the Fela Fairy Sanctum to attend the High Curate's Conclave, which turned out to be an aisle-wide funeral ceremony for Der Don Sir Dondratir Blazingcloak, the assassinated Hand of Terora. They then attended the internment of Sir Blazingcloak's body in the Terroran crypt. After the internment, the High Curate agreed to send along four dozen members of the Sanctum to help counsel the citizens of Belinimard after the mental enthrallment of the Thwilnu is lifted. Adjourning to the Traveler's Respite, the group decided to have a drink in honor of the late Sir Blazing Cloak while Arabelle went to see her own, uh, seek her own counsel from Father Dilbus. After Arabelle rejoined the rest, and Athgar contacted Aralakis and received a tongue lashing from afar, the group decided to travel to Thunder's Edge for a day to rest and deliver a message from the Sanctum. At the four home, a few verbal stumbles from Athgar once again resulted in a bit of fun being poked at the young man, along with a rather direct suggestion from Arabelle. After which, everyone went to rest. Uh, well, Bo and Gwenlaren and Athgar uh, were resting. Arabelle had gone to her room to change out of her armor. And that is where we pick up tonight. So, while Gwen and Athgar are in their respective rooms and Arabelle's changing her armor, Bo's asleep on the couch, Tasha and Zoroth, what are you doing? Um, uh, I went to change my clothes. Oh, okay. All right. And then Tasha, Zoroth, and Arabelle... Mm -hmm. Also, we all walked out to do something because... Yep. I can't remember exactly where we were going, but we were leaving. We were going to talk oh, to we the two guards. To the, yep. the guards, yes, that's right. We were headed yeah. to the, the office, army office. Because I remember in my head, <laughs> Bo is unconscious. Maybe two people will get together. Who knows? <laughs> and I was like, I will go with you. <sighs> Just saying. All right. So, Tasha and Arabelle, when you're done changing. Yeah, I think that we were all done and ready we to were walk out, out the door. Towards the yeah. uh, army office, which is where we, I think, the first time we came to Thunder's Edge, we started. Well, the army doesn't have an office per se. What okay. they have are guard posts. Okay. And um, there are three guard posts, and they sort of have a, an office slash lounge slash barracks at each guard post. So there's one on the road in from the north, there's one on the road in from the south, and there's one on the road in from the east. One like a block from our house, right? Um, 17. Uh, two of, uh, 17 is closest, uh, well, there, the one to, uh, on the eastern edge is closest, the second closest is the one on the north, which is probably just a oh, minute Oh, there's further. more than one 17, yes. sorry. Yes, yes. That's the one I was thinking was really close. Because yeah. we're... Oh, we're here. Not down here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. It doesn't matter. You guys care? Right. We'll, we'll go to this one if I can get it. To, there okay. Yep. All right. Uh, if you would, just so we can do this, roll a d6, Arabelle. One. Okay. It takes not even a minute to get from your house to the guard post. Okay. 
I have the letter from the... We have a letter, right? Yeah. Yes. You have orders. Yes. I hand them to Tasha. She's the ranking person. That's true. I walk up to the guards and hand them are the you letter. Are you still in uniform or are you in casual traveling clothes? I'm in casual traveling clothes. Okay. So I take off my armor, but... All right. So the guard... Uh, young woman. Mm -hmm. Can I help you, ma'am? Yes. Um, I... What's my rank? Is it lieutenant? Captain. Captain. I'm Captain Tasha Green something. Vale. Green Vale. Um, I, sure, I know who I am. <laughs> um, I'm Lieutenant, no, no, Captain Tasha Green Vale, and I have these orders to give to you. She looks for a moment and then snaps a salute. She unrolls the orders and Oh um yes, uh Sir Marlene and Sir Spikespire. Uh are at the uh, southern post. Oh. She rolls the orders back up and hands them back to you. I will what are their names? Uh, yeah. Well, you look on the on the the orders. It's Sir John Death Marlane mm -hmm. and Sir Vondil Spikespire. They're paladins, right? That's Correct. What we're and we're collecting them, or...? You're just delivering the orders. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to tell them to come to our place when we're ready to go tomorrow, yeah. because I got to right. teleport back with us. Right. Mm -hmm. They are going yeah. to become uh, the temple guards at the Temple of Terrara in Belenismore. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. You've been most helpful. So let's go to the southern port. Okay. Uh, They're going to go from southern. the hottest city to the coldest city. How <laughs> do you want to get there? I don't know. Um, you can... What, what's the most direct route? Uh, it's up to you. You There's not really a direct route. So you can go through the inner enclave, mm -hmm. or you can go around the outside and stay in the outer enclave. Well, let's go through... Okay. We haven't been through the inner enclave for a while. Okay. Unless we're trying to be discreet. Are we trying to be discreet? All right. I'm not worried. All I right. Got over here. So let's go through. All right. Um, you are waved through the checkpoint to the inner enclave, although. Yes. You. All three of you are aware that they seem to be staring. Who is? The the Rykeliad guards for the inner enclave. I smile and wave and say, the stories about our, our untimely passing are just that. Stories, boys. Go about your business. And then I just walk on through. <laughs> okay. Um, Does that seem to address what they were staring at? Us do you do you look back? Sure. They are deep in conversation. The three of them. Oh, good lord! Everyone thought they were dead. I don't know if that it. It's probably about after. Uh oh. We we're going to keep a low profile. I asked if we were going to <laughs> be discreet. We're going to go to the Ivory's Wrath for dinner. Not Nobody's going to be surprised. And low profile, what Viesa is going to have people dress up like us and go to different towns anyway. I mean, it's like we might as well 
yeah. he's the real person. I, I, by the way, I'm still not happy about that, but... And Aerolacus already knows, so... Yeah, I mean... I think it's pretty funny. But that's just me. Um, Maybe they're just checking you out because you're not in armor. What evs? As you travel oh, through the inner enclave, your passing creates something of a stir. Oh. Man. Smile and say hello to people. If we see anybody that looks familiar, say nice to see you. Mm-hmm. Good day. Keep on a going. Yep. You this get one? a similar response from the Rykeliad guards at the southern exit out of the inner enclave. Mm-hmm. And that's who we're supposed to find no. the paladin? No. no. Okay. This is this is the the clan guards. Oh, okay. This is, that, so this is the inner outer gate. Yes, this is we the gate from the inner enclave here. back to the outer enclave. Okay. We just go south from here to mm-hmm. the, the gate. That was fun. Wasn't it, though? Uh, hold on, and I run back, and I... So, I'm going to talk to them. Okay. Out of curiosity... Huh? Oh. Yes. What what have you heard and who from who's spreading things about us? Just uh, out of curiosity. Everybody. Everybody. And what are they saying? What are they saying? Well, it depends on which version you listen to. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Okay. Uh, hit me. Oh. <laughs> killed by let's see, killed by orcs. Mm-hmm. Eaten by dragons. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, I'm forgetting one. Uh, drown when your ship crashed and sank. Oh, right, drown in the ocean. Hmm. Orcs, that's interesting. Orcs is interesting. I'd love to know who started Orcs. Well, we're alive. Pass it on. Yeah, and I just, I, like, I turn can, around and walk I, out. I, I can see that, ladies. Have a good day. Oh, thanks. Wow. We weren't gone that long. We were gone for a while. But how did they get all the way down here? Like, we've been out of Thunder's Edge for long periods. Um, far signal network? The far signal network's telling people down here we're dead. That's weird. We actually, actually, well, actually, (laughs) used the far signal recently to uh, say something, if I remember correctly. Now I'm gonna have to look for it, and it's gonna piss me off. Keep going, we're still walking. You reach the southern gate to Thunder's Edge. Mm-hmm. And once again, you see, uh, you see two guards. Uh, one appears to be a human male the other one looks to be a dwarven female. And since you're leaving the city, they just kind of, you know, look at you and nod and go back to watching for people coming in. Hello. Hello. I see any symbols on them. Uh, actu- uh, actually, yes. They're both wearing the uh, heraldry of Terora. I think this is who we're looking for. I believe these orders are for you. Which one of them are you handing it to? The dwarf. Are you sure? What your name? Take a look. We have just come from the sanctum. Oh. All right, hold on. She unra- unrolls the scroll and starts reading and goes, Hey, Lane, this is for us. You're not going to like it very much. I'm going to fucking love it. 
Did they put the information about Blazing Cloak, or was I supposed to tell them? Uh, all it says is they're being ordered to uh, a new post in Belinamard. That they will be they will be assuming the position of temple guard at the temple of Tarara in Belenmark until further notice. So it's the two of them, right? Yep. That's crazy. And uh, the guy takes it and reads it, and you see him just kind of go. Well, wherever the lady sends us. That's where we go. We'll be leaving in the morning for oh. you to travel with us. Oh, we're supposed to travel with you. Great. Yes. Who are you? We're oh, part of we're... the war. I thought she was dead. <laughs> we get that a lot. <laughs> well, I guess neither one of us wins the bet now, hmm? Ah, good point. My money was on the dragons. Lane decided he liked the ship story. We'll be uh, teleporting back to the Sanctum in the morning. Ooh, huh. Well, at least we don't have to walk from one corner of the country to the other, eh? Uh, about noon? What time are we planning on going? Because we're doing breakfast. We're suppo with... You're supposed to meet Aralakis at noon. I thought we were meeting him earlier. Than oh, that. Uh, maybe for breakfast. For breakfast. Oh, Remember all right. We were eating him for breakfast. Meeting him. Yes. Meeting. I was going to say He's coming to our breakfast. house for breakfast, right? Yes. So, like noon at the four house. You know where it is. Uh, I I, I know where it is. Oh, good. <laughs> well, right then. Uh, I suppose we'll be seeing you at noon. Thank so you. Before we go, I do need to share some distressing news. Oh? Sir Blazing Cloak has been killed. <sighs> By Jagravan and assassins. Oh. But I think I know exactly what you're thinking, Lane. Why the hell are they making us leave then? We should be staying here and helping find those bastards and take them down. Because well, yep. Those are information. It. That's information we can give you tomorrow. Because you're needed in Melina Martin. That is where the lady needs me. At the risk of being blasphemous, I would suggest that perhaps the lady might be mistaken? No, she's never mistaken. They took down Sir Blazing Cloak in a matter of seconds. He didn't even get to fight back. This is unfortunately not a job for you right now. Sir Spike Spire starts swearing under her breath. If any of you speak Dwarven, it's a particularly vile oath. Oh, I do. <laughs> I agree. Well. We are going to track them down. Oh. Well, if anybody's going to, I mean, you know, what are the chances that we could actually defeat them even if we found them? Yeah. All right. Yeah, you got a point. They, on the other Let's hand... Have her pendant on with her chore and symbol. They, on the other hand... Uh, my, my money's on them. Uh... Yeah, you're not going to get me betting against you on that one. Well, I suppose... Best we could hope for. I think so. We will... 
see you in the morning. Or at lunchtime. Sorry to deliver bad news. Well, better spot out than kept quiet. We'll be there come noon tomorrow. We should stop at a market on the way back to the house so I can get some things for breakfast since we invited Aralakis home. I think that's a good idea. Stop and get some stuff. All right. Um, again, you do get uh, a couple looks from some of the other patrons. A couple double takes. Uh, the person who, you know, concludes the transaction doesn't say a thing except when you're done and, and picking up the parcels to walk out he says I'm glad the rumors were wrong thank you and welcome back it's good to be back what time of day is it uh, it's mid-afternoon now. Is the Would the bakery still be open? Uh, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Unless they're not. Uh, we can swing by on the way home and see if we go for some yeah, pastry. Can. I mean, we can try. Depends on if they sold out already. It's true. I mean, we can get an order in the morning. Fresh, but they'll have it put together for us. Well, so we ch- we try. Okay. Uh, you get there, you see that the door is closed, and their sign says closed, but you can see at least Hugh still inside. We're not dead. <laughs> and you literally see a tear start running down his face oh. as he literally like drops what he's holding and runs to the door, unlocks it and just flings his arms around Arabelle's waist. We're okay. Honestly. (laughs) Yeah. We're fine. I've never been so happy to see anybody in my entire life. (laughs) You said this is your sir. Sorry. We're okay. I hoped... I hoped, but the stories just kept getting worse, worse and worse, and nobody knew anything. We were in Blenamard. It was a lot. For a long time. I'm just glad that you're here and you're able to be here. Come in, come in, come in. I know you're closed. We wanted to place an order for the morning. Oh, that would be my honor. How Fresh long part. are you back for? Just till tomorrow. Uh, do you ever get a vacation? It doesn't <laughs> seem that way. Get sorry. Is she okay? Zori's fine. Nikki is not. <laughs> well, I think whoever it is that's in charge should be making some noise about a vacation. I think you should be spending a week, maybe two. I would really love that if things would stop falling apart. Your lips to the gods' ears. <sighs> As if they listen to me. <laughs> Yeah, they don't listen to us very well either. Well, if they're not listening to you, I don't know who they're going to listen to. Well, I can think of a couple people. So, some of them listen, but they're mischievous, so I don't know if that's all that helpful. Uh, 
Aye, right. The the whole taught me how to swim story. Right. I remember. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. It's not like I haven't heard it three or four times now. You know. Yeah. It's mm. a good story. I've, I've heard it a lot more than that. She does oh. love that story. It makes her very happy. Poof. God taught me to swim. I'd tell everybody who'd listen, and even some who wouldn't. You have a point there, my friend. <laughs> right. So, what can we bring in the morning, and how early do you want it? Um, some fresh bread and assorted pastries, muffins. All right. Um, easily eight done. Eight o'clock. Is that okay? Oh, pff, that late. All right. You, you're busy. I think one of us yeah. can come in. Believe me, Sar's gonna be furious that he missed you. So I <laughs> send him. Okay. <laughs> But you won't surprise him. You'll tell him that we're fine tonight. Oh, why? Okay. Try and stop me. <laughs> okay. Yes, all of those rumors were just that. Just rumors. Well, be sure I'll be telling everybody who comes through me door. Well, we, we've walked through town, so... There's uh, a lot of people talking now. Uh, outer and inner enclave. Ooh, you have been getting around. <laughs> How is your niece's restaurant? It's going so well. She sells out every night. She can't keep up with the people. She's actually looking at moving to a bigger place. Wow, that's all wonderful. Yes. So, I'd say she's doing quite well. We're very proud. That's really great. And she's she's tired, but she's very happy. So <laughs> it balances out. Arabelle pulls off her money pouch to give him money for the. Ah, 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 ah. Between you and the rest, you've still got uh, about eight gold credits. So there'll be none of that. Well, thank you. It was wonderful to see you. Sorry that we worried you. Well, not worried anymore, and uh, damned happy about that. I, um, can I give him a hug? Oh, yeah. I give him a hug and a slip of platinum in his pocket. Make a sleight of hand check. <laughs> No, we're not dead. Yeah, I know, right? Yes, there'll be none of that at this point. Mm. Slide of hand. Okay. Ah, 22. Okay. He doesn't appear to notice. Mm -hmm. Well, see you in the morning. Or we'll see your, your brother in the morning. Yeah, yeah sorry in the morning. Yeah. Have a good day. He walks you out, locks the door, waves until you're out of sight. Sorry. You talked to Aloric recently, right? Yes. So, I mean, I guess you just didn't stop the rumors? It's kind of hard for one person to start stop all the rumors. I just... Uh, I don't remember when I spoke to him, but I did speak to him. What? Uh, we... Someone were... started these rumors on purpose. Tell Jojo he hadn't heard, been a while, hope you visit soon. And that was when we were... That was when we were going room by room. So not that long ago. 
Well, that's back toward the beginning. That was first no, no. cavern. No, no, this is um room four, room five, room six, room seven, room eight, room nine. This is more a horror factory. Yeah. Topaz gem dragon spirit. Put up hut, swim closer, C five shapes. Body oh, that's dark. Okay. Alright, so yeah, that was third cavern. So in the last week or two, right? Yeah. Yeah, this seems like a deliberate campaign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That's make people think that they don't have hope. Yeah, this is deliberate. Maybe um, tonight before or this afternoon before dinner, um, we can reach out to uh, is it BA? Are we calling? At oh, Romani? at Romani Keep, yeah. Romani. yeah. And um, Shady Cove and Sandy, Sandy Cove, yeah. Cove. Sandy Cove, yeah. Anybody, uh, your aunt. Okay. Have contacts in the larger cities and let them know that we're fine. And... I sent a message to my aunt right now. <laughs> okay. I am just not good at this. Um, <laughs> dear one, I am fine. Athgar and the rest of the four are fine. How are things with you? You can reply to this message. There's a pause. I remember how sendings work, niece. <laughs> I never listen to rumor. I've died a couple times myself. <laughs> but I'm glad for confirmation. Things are progressing nicely here. Hope to see you soon. Uh, I I send another spell. Um, there's much to do, and um, some paladins to avenge, but we will try to visit very soon. After a brief pause. Understood. Be smart, be wise, and make certain the rumors do not become true. Well, my aunt took it very well. She's not mad at all. So that's exciting. Um, but let's get back to the house and... I will do some more reaching out. I can also do it too, so... That's true. Yeah. Um, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to call the mayor from Sandy Cove. Okay. One ringy diggy. Yeah. I can Let's almost see. remember his name. Mm. Um, Aaron's dad. Aaron's dad. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And I wanted to hear how his love trying was going, but I don't think that's probably appropriate for this call. Oh God, I forgot about that. Yeah, I have like not. The, the tavern owner and the like sorcerer wizard person, right? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Osman Fellis. Osman, Osman. right. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got you. I got you, boo. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um, Osman. Hello, it's Zorith with the four. Not that you don't remember us, but 
We are fine. I believe rumors of our death were propagated uh, by not us. <laughs> Someone who wanted to dash hope for the rest of the continent. And we are okay. We should have contacted you sooner in general to see how everything was after the dragon attack and how things were going in your life. Um, we have a couple minutes with this call, though. So. Okay. Really? So this isn't the just 25 words. Fascinating. No. Oh, I'm very glad to hear that you are still well, you and your companions. The rumors did make their way here, but I told people if ever there was a group to disprove such a rumor, it would be the four. But I'm very happy to have been proven right. I was not as certain as I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. uh, things are well. The dragon carcass is gone now. The uh, local alchemist is still working on grinding down the bones for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, and otherwise, things are peaceful, quiet. It's been rather nice. When the biggest problem is trying to hire people to patrol to find out who's been dumping their refuse out behind one of the buildings, that's the type of mayoring I can do. <laughs> well, I am really glad to hear that. Um... Yeah, we have had a busy, busy month, um, but kind of, kind of didn't understand that people would miss you or miss mm -hmm. hearing about you. Uh, I think the part that upsets me most is the fact that. Um, that it's so widespread. I mean, we, we, we drop down to different towns all the time. Yeah, you know, we miss you and we'll come down and see you soon. Can't we to, you know, get down in that nice hot area and swim some. Tell Gwen Lauren the beach is waiting for her. I sure will. Have a wonderful day. You as well, and thank you for contacting me. You're welcome. Um, and I just stop talking. I tell them what he said. Uh, um, and I'm, I'm checking to see if I have another one. I do not. I do not. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll have to, yeah. I tell uh, Tasha she'll have to do Romani key later or whatever. Um, I'm all out. Tower and Sanctum are covered. Sandy Cove, Thunder's Edge, Airmaw. Well, about this point, you're back to the house. It's not yeah, just... terribly far from the bakery back to the four home. Go put the perishables in the. I'm sure we have the basement, right? Is what's cool. Mm -hmm. and then... Back up. 
All right. Bo is still sleeping on the couch. In the meantime, what was going on when we left? Everybody was napping. You don't know that. You didn't ask Gwen what she was doing. Oh, well. She had said she was going to nap. So. Did you? I did. Okay. Well, I tried to. Mostly I just thought about how men are really stupid. And then grumbled a lot. So I didn't really get much um I didn't really sleep, I but I did rest. Okay. Apparently the whole continent thinks we're dead. Sounds like a bit of an exaggeration. I mean thinking oh. about incidents. Uh someone obviously started these rumors because we bebopped to different we weren't in places constantly like we've been we went up north to the to your your grandfather's place and we have we been gone, gone for over a month we have been without gone. without really contacting anybody no we have talked to people we have this was deliberate um I was thinking in addition, so we have Romani, but maybe if you reached out to, um, I just had his name. Is it Reynard, the master bard that mm -hmm. is up in the Hill Cross area? And he yes. gets around. He might be another good person to reach out to in addition to VA. I'll send a message to my grandfather. I mean, I, I reached out before. So hopefully it's not an issue, but I you can did. reach out to them and you just reached out way before we left even, I think. Yes, I did, but do you think I need to again? I thought you did when we finished like recently, right? I thought you did it's... too, I can't remember. Yeah, after I... we came out from the thing, I think you told him that fine. Okay. You apologize I... for being out of contact for so long. I I think we need to try to be in communication at least every two weeks with people okay this is yes, just comma. so much work yes I mean, comma but who i mean like every well, week we spend an entire day every two weeks we can spend an entire hour contacting our people and being by the way we're not dead yet no there have been no. Well, I should probably be reporting to, you know. He knew. My, nope. I should probably be reporting to my boss at least once a week. He's not your boss anymore. We're an independent he's, unit. He's still kind of my boss. Well, technically, she is knew. still a captain in the army, and he is her commanding officer. Yeah. But he also knew. No, he didn't really. We told him. He was well, at our war council, right? That we had well, before we left. Yep. Because we asked him if he had anybody else to go with us. And he didn't. Well, I mean, he knew where we were, but I should still be res I should still be reporting to him once a week. Okay. And... It... Arabelle, you know, she has her parents. And I have my aunt now. See what and I mean? It's doing a lot of work. It, it is, but we, I think we have to get used to this idea that there are people out there that care about us. This is why it's easier to not. And we, we've made ourselves a big rep. No. So when we are missing from the general public, our presence or lack of presence is felt. Well, and it just gave an opening for someone to start these rumors. Mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. not, this is not just, we've been out of touch. I mean, we've been 
in places for a long time and it hasn't hit this before. This was it went our... all over like this that quickly. That's, that is not true, in, but not in the snow and every you know, it's just turning to spring. People aren't traveling that much yet. And even yeah. with car signals it feels off. Seems like somebody's starting trouble. Sorry, when in the morning when you can cast your spell again, you should probably reach out to your brother and let him know we're not dead. Absolutely. I mean, Sakuthos might have told him. But. <laughs> Talk about an unreliable narrator. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't have nearly as much fun as you all did. Sounds like you got to straighten some people out and... Did you order food? We brought, um, we went to the shop to get some things to make for breakfast in the morning. And we stopped by the bakery and saw Hughes. Uh, he's going to have Sarah deliver the bread and things in the morning to see us. He, oh, oh that's great. Oh, right. the rumors, maybe we sh should just go to the raft tonight for food let people see us okay that makes sense is that okay sorry yeah that's what we, we had talked about that i thought that yeah. was our whole yeah. intention that's what yes. i guess then we talked about having food here so oh yeah no we'll look for oh i believe we have to make our presence known apparently Maybe you could play a song that could let people know that we're, you know, not dead, still living. Hmm. All right, I'll go write something. <laughs> play some things you've already got. Just, I mean, they'll know it's you. Just play the dragon song or something else. Well, if she wrote something, then maybe that would spread the news as well. I don't know. All that music stuff. Well, I will, I will play something. Maybe I knew a song already. We're alive, Blang. Don't believe everything you hear, Blang. <laughs> if we were dead, we'd let you know. <laughs> I'm sure there's a couple songs about rumors. So, uh, thoughts about what we should be doing next? Let's go back and cure Bonamar. Yeah, that that is next on the list. And then, yeah. and then we're gonna hunt down some Jagravanans. We're always hunting down Jagravanans. Yeah, but this is special. Mm -hmm investigate we're and going we are not getting into a fight unless we can handle it. I won't lose you all would oh, now be a good time to <clears throat> would now be a good time to before we dive into our next task to take some time or 
is this pressing? Is this something that needs to be? We I need to get back to Belinamard. No, for that's pressing. That. that is pressing. Blazing cloak is pressing. I think we can take a few days before we go gallivanting down to the desert to regroup. It has been a very long stretch of nothing but trauma and death and combat. And maybe if we come back here and recenter ourselves for a little bit before we go, we will be in a better mindset to find out who did this and when they are. Agreed. Not a long break, not a vacation, but just a little forecare. That sounds oh. like a good... All right. <laughs> or here, or at Gwen's villa, whatever makes sense. I was just thinking I also... We should probably go back to the villa. Barely spent any time there, and I'm sure there are matters of the estate that I should be tending to. At least... At that least way, more than could... a, an overnight. If, if we if we go to the villa, you can see your parents. I did send a note, but yes, seeing them would probably be good. Sorry. DM, <laughs> I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Are there people who can cast sending for hire? No. Because in order to cast sending, you have to know the person you're sending to. Yeah. Doesn't quite work like that, that. That is a sticky wicket. There are traditional messengers. You can pay to have a message sent by far signal lamp. Mm, maybe. Mm. But but and then who, okay. Uh, the, okay. The problem with that is that those messages can be intercepted. Oh yeah, they. It's like a telegram. They go through other people. Yeah. So I don't bard, like it. cleric, wizard. Bard, cleric, wizard. Okay. All right. People could contact us, you know. Works both <laughs> ways. <laughs> You know, you make ways. a great point that if there were people who were like, oh no, I'm super concerned that they've died, you'd think that one of them would make an attempt to contact us. So a couple of things though, they had to send the Sprite around to get us a message because I don't think they could contact us at one point. And no one can scry on us because of these. That's true. So if they Those tried are... to send a message and it didn't get through to any of us, they probably would have thought that confirmed the rumors. Hmm. So it's up to us, my dears, to really make an effort to communicate with those that really care about us or have a vested interest in us on a regular basis whether we like it or not. Are we, what are we doing now? Standing I'm around the kitchen of the four home chatting. I'm going to go take a nap because that was exhausting. Leaving for dinner soon, I would think, so we can get there before the crowds. Ooh, what time is it? It's probably about four. So you oh, probably perfect. want to head out like 5.30ish. Fantastic. I'm going to go take a disco nap. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> Zorith gets all huffy, takes some pen and some paper, and sits down and starts writing at the kitchen table. I'm going to go put my feet up in the living room. I'm going to get water and start cleaning the dust off of all of my pots and pans and dishes so that I can cook food in the morning. Oh, boo. <laughs> All right. I should help you with that. I'm sorry. You're fine. Uh, 
Bo stirs, mumbles, turns over, <laughs> continues sleeping. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take him a while. Fantastic. All right. Uh, if there is there anything else you want to do between now and leaving for dinner? Probably about five or so. I'll go up and wake up Asgar. Okay. Uh, you go upstairs. Uh, the door to Araman's room is closed. I knock. No answer. Open the door. The room is empty. Go back downstairs. Asgard's not here. Of course not. It would be far too convenient if he actually told us of his plans. He might be in the his mansion. Well, but his, if he's not, his, his house. He doesn't have a mansion. His, well, his mansion, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. No, he's also got a house in town. Right. Oh no, I, I was about to finish my statement. Okay. If he's not in his mansion, we are going to have words. And they will not be happy. Today probably. is not my today is not the day to fuck with me right now. He probably teleported to his house to take yep. care of things without being yep. seen by going outside. Did he mention that at one point though? Nope. I thought he said he could get there without being seen, but I don't think he told us he was going to. Uh, I... Because we said something when we were... if we, like, I think we asked him if he was going to stay at his house or our house, right? And I think he said our house. But I did maybe um say something inappropriate before we left, and so maybe he had to go off and think. I don't know did why. I, did I hear all of this, or am I sleeping? You're sleeping. I don't. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Make a perception check. Because I would say you, the chances that uh, you are still drifting off are are reasonable. But well, she's got to go five. upstairs. Yeah. Well, but it's not an easy roll, but... I rolled a 31. Yeah. Well, I went in and out of Araman's room, so she could have heard the door. <sighs> what? What's going on? Asgard's well, gone. You, you heard very, very faintly this conversation drifting up the stairs. Um, so you can choose to get up and go back downstairs, or you can go to sleep. I get up. Is something going on? I went to wake up Air, uh, Athgar to get ready for dinner, and he's not here. I send a message to Athgar. Are you meeting us for dinner? And where the fuck are you? Nope. I'm I'm not being that person. Are you at the all it says is are you meeting us for dinner? We'll be there at 5:30. If I'm finished with my errands by then, yes. According to Airman, He's, I'm sorry. According to Atgar, <laughs> oh, he is going to meet us for dinner as soon as he's done running his errands. So apparently he had things to do. I'm he, not allowed to go by myself other places, but he is. Go I'm ahead. not saying that I won't yell at him about this later. I'm just telling you what he said. Boys are dumb. We just had this conversation so I can understand why Zori's upset. 
No, absolutely. She has reason to be upset. It's fine. I will hold it against him. That's all. It's fine. <laughs> I'm ready to go whenever you guys are, and I sit down on the couch and just hold my hands on my lap. And what about at this him? at this point, Bo goes. <laughs> Time to get ready for dinner, Bo. Dinner? We just had lunch. We slept through. I don't think we had lunch. I don't think we had lunch. We had those drinks. That was lunch. Of a sort. Mm. Would you prefer to stay here and, and rest and no, recover? No, no. I'm thinking I'm going to need some food pretty soon. We we brought some snack stuff back, but we're going to go get our dinner. I, uh... Sounds good to me. Give me just a, a, a minute or two. And he just kind of oh, no. gets up I've... and... I uh, put my hand on his shoulder and neutralize the poison in his body. Oh, okay. Well, there really wasn't much left at this point. Oh, okay. So. Well, whatever is left is fine. Hmm. And he's just kind of like. Huh. I must be getting better at this. It must be that. Doesn't even harsh anymore. <laughs> I finally become a seasoned drinker. That's amazing. All that practice paid off. Well, they do say practice makes perfect. Shall we head to the wrath? I think we're going to bring some wrath with us, but that's just me. I don't have my armor, but I am taking my sword. Okay. And with us, by the way. <laughs> I don't travel I'm, without that these days. I'm taking my sword, too. And, of course, a couple knives. And your... And what? Oh, well, I have my loot. I always bring my loot. Right. Well, it, uh... It's another pleasant trip through the inner enclave. The stairs are less. Oh, thank goodness. It seems that the Thunder's Edge grapevine has indeed circulated that you are not dead. There are still what? a few people who kind of are like, whoa, because apparently they hadn't heard yet, but it's less... Pointed. Fabulous. I'm going to head right to the table and focus on ordering. Okay. I'm sure when we walk in the door, it will be a hubbub slash war slash quiet slash all the things. You walk in. There are a few people in there already. And Alorix behind the bar. And he looks up and smiles. And says, You're usual table is waiting you. And then he looks around the room and several people grumble, get up, walk to the bar, and slap down money. <laughs> How much did you make? I'll tell you after the evening is concluded. Many oh of the God. people who bet me are not here yet. Oh, that's hilarious. What did Wiggy bet? Oh, no. Wiggy was on my side. Oh, okay. Well, he's not stupid. His faith in your abilities is remarkable. That's nice. It's good to see you. It's good it's to see you as well. It's very good to see you. Go over and give him a hug. I would be more surprised, but I was alerted to the fact that you were 
here and that you were coming for dinner. You knew we were coming for dinner? Yes, that's Athgar told me. Oh, Athgar's been here. Yes, we had an we had an interesting chat. Well, that's good. Recently? I mean, just now? Uh, about so an today? hour ago. Oh. Yep. Hey, give him a hug. Although he didn't look like Athgar. That's good. oh. Yeah, he's trying to, you know, be discreet, which is hilarious. Rumor has it that his father is incensed, so I would be discreet as well. Yeah, that's not surprising. Hold up. Wait a minute. This is Nikki. They knew where we were. He but. knew where we were. Well, he knew where you went. Okay. But the other issue is, just so you understand, yes, Athgar did communicate with Aralakas, but he never bothered to communicate directly with his father. Not for months now. Right, because mad. because if he knew, Aralakis would have told him. We've had that conversation before. Yep. So, but it's the issue. It's no, no. It's the issue that Athgar chose to send the message through Aralakis rather than communicating with his father directly. That's I would have done Tremaine the same thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Well, it is good to see all of you. I... Can I just ask you? Yes. What did Athgar want? To talk. We're friends. Okay. He just keeps taking off and not telling us where he's going after we've literally just talked about not doing that so yeah he had his reasons he always does he just doesn't communicate those reasons very well I don't know if you heard but I gave a Lorik a hug yes and he hugged you back super tight Longer than the others. I have some small hope that he will be communicating better in the future. Is that what you encouraged him to do? It came up. Well, thanks for trying. I look forward to perhaps someday discovering if my attempt was successful. (laughs) Hope springs eternal. those exact words with him. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, maybe not eternal. I don't know. Hope springs impatiently. Always. Like, maybe it was my fault he took off. No. If he can't stand a little teasing, I mean, come on. More what I said when we went upstairs. There was was more? Maybe it would just be easier if you guys slept with each other. Easier for all of us, you guys just slept with each other and got it over with. Well, it's not untrue. I 
don't know why I can't keep my mouth shut about that around him. Zorith, make an insight check. No, 17. 16 plus 1. 17. You happen to be looking at Aloric when Arabelle just said that. He did not appear at all surprised. Oh, no, I know he didn't. I mean, <laughs> he came to talk to Athgar by himself. I know what's up. <laughs> <laughs> All of us do. Not one of us is surprised. Maybe Bo, because he doesn't know what the fuck is going on. But not one of us is going to be surprised. So I, I say nothing. I I just... I'm sorry if I overstepped, Gwen. It's just getting to be a thing over and over. And just... Maybe he just... So, Aloric, do you have any live entertainment for the evening? I do believe so. Would you like some? <laughs> Since it's you offering, always. Great. I'm going to go play for a bit. Um, if, uh, Could if you, I if you... possibly <laughs> convince you to give an encore a bit later when the crowds arrive? Oh, no, absolutely. Playing now will bring in the crowds, but then there will be disgruntled people if they think they've missed the performance. I will play probably three sets. <sighs> Excellent. I haven't had a lot of time to play lately. Been too busy killing Thulnu, you know? Oh, Whoa, sorry about that. <laughs> we don't talk about Thwilnu. The Thwilnu daughter. <laughs> How loud did she say that? Because I'm about to jump down her throat for that. No, I said it kind of softly. It's not crowded in here, right? No. No, it's not. You need to put a little cone of silence bubble around us or something where no one can hear us. But... We just, we just can't be sharing so all our shit. Like, it. Um. Oh, I can't do it, babe. Yeah, you can. Just keep fighting with it. You'll get it. Nope. Perhaps we should eat now so that when it gets busy later, we can lend a hand if you need it again. <laughs> Oh, Since so we're I'm, not planning for Tasha's performance. No, I'm not putting you to work on your first night back. That's not happening. I don't know why it won't work. Let's let's eat dinner, and if you've not a need for me this evening, I may just head back. I'm sorry, Gwen. Oh, I was going to join you because I was actually thinking the same thing because I am not going to be in the mood for anything tonight. So I will go somewhere else because I can teleport. And apparently that's a thing we're allowed to do. I, I don't know if there are migraines in that happen, but I'm going to have one soon. Oh, sure. It's just every time something comes up, he runs off and... I mean, if he, I don't understand why he keeps sticking around if he's going to freak out every time something comes up. It's just. Okay. Just devil's advocate. I'm not sure he's freaking out. We haven't actually talked to him. He takes off. This is this is a thing he does, right? Okay. And he knows 
how I feel about people who just disappear. Right. However, there's a big difference between going to talk to a couple of friends and running some errands and still meeting us for dinner and disappearing for months on end. There is. I get that. But he has to know that when he takes off and doesn't tell anyone, especially after... Yeah. With so little provocation, it's just... And he could have sent a message to us to let us know that he was going out because we just had a discussion about not going by yourself. He could have. That would have been good. You have a you have a fair point there. So I, I'm just... Can I even just get something to go? Can I just get some food and I'll take it back with me? Theoretically, you're not allowed to walk back by yourself. Well, sorry, you said you wanted to maybe go to. Aloric, may I come back later this evening? Will you be free? I will make myself free. Sounds See, <laughs> now that's the kind of response you want to get right there. Uh, we haven't spoken on our sending zones today. Please let me know when the bar is available, and I will come back. No need. When you are able to come back, I will make arrangements. I mean... I'm gonna need a bottle of wine. Let's start there. Maybe two. Alora kind of looks around kind of glances at Bo and Bo's like hello oh this is Bo Bo this is Aloric Aloric runs this establishment and he owns it oh and, and he's our friend well he is a wonderful friend any friend of uh, this group is friend of the whole country <laughs> I'm not certain that's accurate, but I appreciate the sentiment. It's a pleasure to meet you. He um, looks looks around for a second and then just shakes his head and does something that he rarely ever does. He grabs a chair, flips it around, and sits down. I know you're not about to say anything about Athgar right now. I know you're not. If you wish, I won't. Because Athgar is a big boy. And he can tell us himself. Well, and I'm sure he will, but it's going to be hard for him to do it if you leave. You know, when I do things that other people don't like, I usually seek them out. So, if I'm not here, he can tell me later. That's true. Absolutely. I'm just saying. I'm sorry that you're so angry. But, I, I'm... Aloric shakes his head, stands up, flips the chair around, and walks behind the bar. Aww. Now you scared him off. Maybe he was going to tell us some good dirt. True. Do you want to hear it from Aloric or someone else? Right. I don't want rumors. That is part of the reason that I'm already mad. Is This is an entirely dumb situation. And... It is dumb. Okay. He 
it shouldn't be this hard, right? I mean, it shouldn't be this hard. I have no idea. It can be. But shouldn't it be easier? I mean... Says who? How, how many how many actual relationships have you had? Well, it depends on what you count as a relationship. More than a roll in the hay. Oh, well, never mind. It's just frustrating, you know? It He already knows how I feel. I put it out there. It's brought me nothing but misery and I don't understand why I should even continue trying this. It's just because you love him. I'd rather not. Uh, well, as far as I can tell, love is not about what you'd actually like. That's for sure. You love who you love. And that's all it is. But just because you love someone doesn't mean that it always works out. That's true, too. Aloric walks back to the table. He has his uh, pad of paper and a, a pencil. And he says... You are all very good at what you do, individually and as a group. But I would ask, do your words and your actions match? I don't know what you're speaking in riddles. <clears throat> That's all I'll say. And if you would like to place an order either to dine here or to have me package up for you to take elsewhere, I'm happy to do so. We don't know how um, he's disguised himself, but you saw him earlier. Is he in here? Oh, no. No, he teleported here. I watched him walk down from upstairs, which was a little unnerving at first because I have no lodgers at the moment. And when he departed, he left the same way. But he hasn't come back in the door or anything. As he looked when we spoke, no. Okay. Could I get, could I place an order and um, we'll just, I'll have it ready to go. And if he doesn't show up shortly, then I'll head out. I feel stupid waiting around for somebody who either doesn't show up or shows up when it's convenient for him. like a pint of cider and uh, what's what's on the menu tonight um, hold on Jeff wasn't ready for this question he should have been but he's not so mm. This place. Okay. Um, we have uh, a mutton sandwich with sharp cheese and greens. We have, uh, I believe there's still pheasant stew and fried potatoes. And 
cook just this afternoon made a large kettle of chicken soup with peas. I think I'll have the pheasant stew. All right. And obviously we can, if you have your palate set for something particular, cook and probably make it. I wouldn't want to put cook out. She has so much to do. Yes, but she thrives at it. I'm constantly stunned by the, uner- by the energy of a woman her age. Hmm. I could say that about my aunt. Could I just have a the chicken um, soup? Mm-hmm. Maybe a chunk of bread and some of those potatoes. Certainly. Thank you. I'll package it to go, just in case. Much appreciated. Bo? And wine. Can I also get that to go? Oh, of course. Um, I think I'll try that mutton sandwich. And, uh, how's the ale here? We usually don't get complaints. Good. I'll add the darkest thing you've got. Very well. Arabelle, Zora? Um... I'll have the pheasant stew and a glass of the desert pear wine. I also happen to have uh, recently acquired a rather tasty plum brandy. If anyone is interested, perhaps after the meal. I'll have that too. Very well. I'll bring the bottle and some glasses. And drink. Then some juice. It's fine, thank you. And then my husband is. Very well. (laughs) And he goes over and walks through the doors into the kitchen. Um, I go over to the little stage area and start tuning my loop. Okay. Mm. Several people immediately, you know, notice and there's a little bit of discussion and then they kind of sit back and turn their chairs. I, uh, put out my hat and, uh, I begin playing something um, soft and uh, accommodating for for dinner, like a ballad. Okay. All right. Please roll performance. Was Alaric at the bar or did he go in the back? Uh, He went back into the kitchen. But he then comes back out and goes behind the bar and starts getting the drinks together. I rolled a 27. Okay. I walk up to the bar. Is there something else you need? Um, did you want to open a, is it, it's not super hot, right? Because it's just, it's early in the year, right? Yeah. Should we open a few windows so Tasha's music uh, filters out? Hmm. I don't see why not. I'll do it. I open a few that face the street. So. Okay. And then go sit back down. Mm-hmm. 
the music is definitely getting people's attention. You see heads poking in, and some of them then leave. Others have conversations and then come in and sit down. But the music is getting noticed. Um, I play a couple songs about rumors. And they actually, uh, once the subject becomes clear, actually gets a few chuckles. Mm-hmm. Mostly from the people who ended up having to pay Alorik. brings the drinks to the table, uh, puts down a beautiful uh, blown and shaped glass bottle in green, and then sits down a handful of shot glasses. This is the plum brandy. It's quite tasty. I had some earlier. I hope you didn't feel as though we ran you off. We'd, I know you're busy, but we'd always be glad to have you join us. Well, I was informed that what I had to say would not be welcome, so I simply went I back. don't know that that's true. I apologize. However, if it is something that Athgar said to you, in confidence, then Athgar should be the person to tell. And I would. Unless you want to tell us. I would never break his confidence. Feel free to tell Gwen anything you want to. And I just get up and walk uh, to the bar with a drink and sit down. I'm not walking away, I'm just sitting at the bar. It's been a very hard couple of weeks and today did not help. I would never ask you to betray his confidence unless of course you totally want to. Want and possessing the ability are two different things and Mm. I do not possess that ability. Mm. Understood. Based on what I now know I believe I can agree that this has been a difficult time. But please remember, it has been a difficult time for him as well. And he sees the world differently than any of you. That we can agree upon. I just ask that as you think your way through the next few days or weeks, that you keep that in mind. I appreciate your wise counsel. I am not one for patience. Well, I'm not sure how wise it is. That will be proven in time or not. But it's what I can offer. I think it's wise counsel. I will try to be less impatient. It is difficult. For me. As it is for many others. So, you are not alone in that. I once heard 
A priest of Pharos say that patience is a virtue best left for the dead who can afford it. I always thought that was insightful, if a bit morbid. Yes. Well, I think it's not only can they afford it, but perhaps it's the only way that it ends up being any easier. It just seems as though this shouldn't be that hard. And I weary of the drama. It just seems so unnecessary. (laughs) Well, I suspect you are not alone in that as well. Ah, your food is ready. Excuse me. Thank you. He walks back over. A few more people have stuck their heads in. Some have come in, some have not. Um, If the four of you would make a perception check. Zori at the bar. Oh. (laughs) 34. What, Gwen? 17. Okay. For me and um, nine for Bo. (laughs) Okay. 27. Six. Okay. Tasha and Arabelle. You notice a tiny figure walk in the door maybe barely over two feet tall. Looks like a little girl. And she's carrying two bundles in her arms. She comes walking in the door and looks around and sees a Loric and just kind of and just stands there and looks like she's not quite sure what to do. Tasha's on stage, right? Yeah, she's playing. I get up and go over to this girl, but very warily. I don't know what she's got in those bundles. Did you need something? Hmm. Hello, miss. I'm supposed to deliver these. One of them is for somebody named Larik. He's blue. (laughs) Oh no, not him. He's scary. You want me to give it to him? Yes, please. Uh, And she pulls out. It's a, a, a small bag with a it's tied and there's a little note tied in with it. She okay. hands it to you. The other bundle's a little bigger. Mm-hmm. And this one is supposed to go to Galarin? She's at that table over there. Do you want me to take it? No, I can talk to her. She's... Which one is she? She points to Gwen. Okay, thank you. One with the dark hair. And she wanders over and... just... taps Gwen on the th- on the arm. You kind of look Hello, over and you're like... Oh. <laughs> Are you... Gwen Lauren? Gwen Lauren, I guess I am. Here, she holds out this bundle. It's uh, a slightly larger bag, and it too is wrapped with a note tied to it. I give her a gold piece and 
say thank you for delivering this. She kind of curtsies and turns and scampers out. Arabelle delivers the package to Amorg. What is this? That little girl brought it in, but she was scared of you because you look scary. A tale I hear too often. Well, still. And he undoes it and pulls the note out and opens the bag and looks and opens the note and reads it and goes. <sighs> Takes the note in the bag and sticks it under the counter. So no, I look at the note. There. I look okay. at the note. Uh, okay. Actually, let's do this. Um, Secret message brought to you by Jeff's keyboard. Yes. <laughs> okay. It is in the Zoom chat. You recognize the handwriting. Okay. Are the others around? Mm-hmm. Uh, Zori and I are at the table with you, and Tasha's on stage. Well, actually, Zori's at the bar. Oh, that's right. So. I came back after I gave him the package. So. Right. So Bo at the table, Arabelle. it's just Gwen, Bo, and Arabelle. So I can tell from the handwriting that it's from Athgar. He sent me his hat of disguise. He wants to me to meet him and have it out. Are you up for that? Just want to get this over with, you know, just clear the air. So do I have your permission, you two, to go off on my own for this purpose? I'm, I'll be at his house. In the inner enclave? Yeah, his house. That's where it is, yeah. Well, you don't need my permission. I'm along for the ride. I don't... I don't set policy. <laughs> Hat of disguise and sneaky sneak. You'll be sneaky. Well, I, I can be sneaky. I don't need That's a hat of disguise either. I mean, I don't, I don't understand all the subterfuge. Maybe he doesn't want anybody to see you going into his house. I don't think he wants to be seen till he sees Aralakis. And he wasn't with us last time we were here, so he can probably get away with that. Just be careful in all the ways. Will do. Zori, is that all right with you? You're going to have to go to the bar to talk to her. Yeah, I was going to oh. say, I, you would have had to call me right. over. Uh, I'll go up to the bar and tell her the same thing. I wish you the best, and I hope you have a fruitful conversation. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you think I should wear the hat? I can be so sneaky without it.
I do go over to Gwen, though. Okay. Um, if the conversation goes very late and you decide not to come back to the house, will you let us know so we don't worry? Of course. Thank you. So, I guess I'll wear the damn hat. I slap it on my head. I imagine. She probably, no, when she slaps it on her head, (laughs) I go, you should probably go upstairs for this part. He did give you a hat of disguise after all, and you're about to do it in front of a whole bunch of people, so. No, I just, I, I can go out and blend into the shadows. It's kind of what I do. Except it's still quite sunny out. It's not a lot of shadows right now. Yeah. All right. Then I'll go upstairs. I'll do as she suggested. And I will imagine myself a little old lady with a, a, a kerchief and shawl. Okay. A babushka. And then I'll head downstairs and out the door. Okay. And make my way to Athgar's. Okay. All right. And that conversation will happen at a different time. Okay. So... Meanwhile, back at the raft, Tasha, while you were playing, you saw all of this, and it wasn't difficult to put together that Gwen was the little old lady who came down the stairs and left, but... You have what you can figure out by what you saw at this point. Because you're still performing. And I continue to play. Okay. And Um, slowly the wrath starts to fill up. I play for at least an hour. Okay. And then I go eat my food. And I say, so I'm guessing that Gwen meant to, left to go meet Athgar? Yes, her to come over so they could talk. Awesome. I hope it goes well. I told her if it, the conversation went late to let us know if she wasn't coming. No one Very else. wise Thank and thoughtful. You. These are not the times to not know where people are. Next time Alora comes by, I ask him to just bring the wine bottle. I'm happy to. Thank you. It takes a couple minutes because he's he's hopping, but uh, he brings it back. Is there anything else I can get anyone? Are you sure you don't need help? I'll be fine. Wiggy should be along any time. If I really need help, I'll press him into service. You have noticed over the last hour that periodically people will walk in, stop, stare at your table briefly, and then walk toward the bar pulling out their purses. Oh, that is funny. I hope you make some million fucking dollars. <laughs> it's nice when faith is rewarded. It's also nice when you have an in. <laughs> that too. I'm at the bar, so I say that quietly to him. <laughs> I didn't say anything that wasn't true. I simply said I have it on good authority that they are fine 
and they will return. Well, I have at the house made a will and testament and listed all of the people on there who should be notified in case of our untimely arrangement mm. to the world. And so, who will you leave that with? Um, I'm going to make a couple copies and I'm going to leave it with um, my um, my um, my upline Obris, right? Yeah, your mentor. Yeah. Uh, Obris and um, also Erlachis. And they have the ability to talk to each other. I'm going to have a conversation with them. And if one doesn't know where we are, the other one should. And they have the ability to talk to each other. So I'm just going to be like, hey, if you don't know where we are, talk to the other person. And if the other person doesn't know, then try to talk to us. It's been a really rough day. I'm beginning to understand that. There was a war council. And people know things. And supposedly, our signal, which is not prone to rumor because it is apparently part of the governing nation there? Yes, there is the official government usage, but they have recently begun accepting private messages with no guarantee of timely delivery but for a fee you can dictate a message and have it sent it's my understanding that there are limited windows for private messages but it does seem to be catching on. I know that there has been some discussion amongst some here in Thunder's Edge that perhaps there should be more than one station. Yes, but you and I can see how poorly this can go. It does have its possible issues. But I also believe that the good may outweigh the bad. Okay. Then again, that just may be hope and not reality. It is nice to have hope. Hope and I are well acquainted. Insight check. Go ahead. Art. <laughs> Not, Not bad. 17. What are you trying 16. to determine? Is he... Is he... Liberty flabbering about a relationship between us kind of thing. Is he like hopeful? Or is it just... You do get the sense that he, that he is speaking from very personal experience. Okay. It's nice to have hope. And I just pat his hand <laughs> and just, I'll have um, some water. That would be great. Of course. And he just kind of leans down quickly and kisses your forehead just real quick and then turns around to go get the water. There's a slight lull 
in the ambient noise. And then you and everyone here. I told you! I told you! I told you! Alaric, where's my money? And Aloric turns around and just gives this look like it's here. Well, good, because uh, I'm going to need it if I'm going to buy these fine ladies a drink to celebrate them not being dead. happened happened again happening to me <laughs> just means to represent that she's off in her own land in her in her music yeah she's off in her own little world that yeah. spins periodically that's right She's really into what she's playing. Yeah, a couple uh, almost psychedelic tunes, apparently. Ha ha. What were you going to say? Were you going to say something? I stop. Well, at the end of the song, mm -hmm. I stop and say, and we we're happy to see you too. And I go back to playing. Okay. So Wiggy comes over and just plops down at the table. Whew! I have never been so happy to find out that Aloric was right. I mean, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I believed him, and I, you know, cause you're the four. Who can kill the four? I mean, come on, dragons? I don't think so. You get dragons that you can call if you need help. Orcs? <laughs> You, you eat orcs for dinner. And uh, last I heard, you wasn't taking a sailing trip anywhere, so I figured that one was the no chance. So, Wiggy, I know you're out of the intelligence game and focused on your business, but I'm sure you still hear things. Well, yeah. I'm so kind of, uh, you know, living with the woman who has my job now so you know so where did all these rumors come from they came in on caravans the traders coming in from from the east from the north they're talking about uh, that these this is what they had heard and they was just it was delivered with the rest of the news that they brought with them As, as, now, where they heard it, I haven't got a clue. But uh, but me and Aloric, we know that this was, you know, crap the second we heard it. But uh, I do got to say, it was kind of my idea that uh, maybe we should get some bets going. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah, easy money. And, uh, you know, it was kind of a safe thing because, you know, if they turned out to be, if the rumors turned out to be wrong like we figured it was, then nobody's going to be too upset that they lost money because you are actually not dead. You know, that's good news. And so I didn't figure they'd be, you know, too upset. And eh, nobody bet anything huge. But, you know, it's probably enough, you know, for me to take pay for your dinner. Although, what is this? And he reaches out and grabs that green bottle and kind of goes, Ooh. Well, maybe not this, but the rest of it. <laughs> That's new. I don't know what that is. It smells really good. It's pear brandy, I believe. Plum. Plum brandy. Oh. Pear wine. Plum brandy. Wow. 
Okay, well, uh, yeah. So, but anyway, you know, I get, I get half of, you know, whatever we, we raked in. So, you know, when Alaric figures out how much that is, he gives me my half, you know. I can't think of anything better to spend it on. Well, I'm glad that we were alive so that you could win some money. Yeah. And what? I don't know you. This is our friend, Bo. Bo? This is... Oh, sorry. Yeah, not me. you're not there. <laughs> Bo, this is our very good friend, Wigilliam. Wiggy to everyone. Except for when he's in trouble. Ugh. I understand completely. I'm only Bo when I'm not in trouble. Otherwise, it's Bo Regard. <laughs> I haven't heard that in a long time. Yeah, I haven't heard with Gilliam in a while. At least uh, four days now. Yeah, it's, it's great. Ah. So, well, nice to meet you. Ah, certainly. Pleasure's all mine. So. We're uh, only in town for till tomorrow. Still running, huh? Well, we still have to finish up a couple of things, but we'll be back before too long. Lorik said that uh, you, 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 you guys was up north, like way up north. Elenamar. They got snow up there. Yes. You can keep it. <laughs> I remember snow. I am not a fan. It'll... We won't be there much longer. Hopefully just a few more days. Good. And then you should come back here and you should, uh, you know, relax. I think we'll spend a few days in Erma, then probably a few days here, and then we'll see where our path takes us, maybe back into the desert. Oh. No hiring anyone to follow us. I learned my lesson. I will not do that again. At least not without telling you beforehand. It's not safe for you to send anyone where we're going. That might be all the more reason why I maybe should. I would hate for them to accidentally get hurt because we're tracking sneaky people. And if someone sneaks us up on us, they may get killed. Because mm. this went so well the last time you tried that. Again, not here. Yep. Then you're finishing up your <laughs> I'm not here, but <laughs> if, if I, I was were, there, if what Tasha I would say. Here, you know what she would say? <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. I can practically hear it in my head. Oh. <laughs> Someday we'll tell you everything, but it's been a long, long couple of weeks. Well? It wasn't exactly the homecoming we expected. Well, at least you come out the other side of it, and you're still here. That's something. Yes. I mean... We haven't been overrun by orcs. No. And, uh... I haven't really heard about, uh... Dragon attacks lately. So that's good. Uh... It's actually been pretty quiet here, too. Uh... I don't know. Could be worse. It absolutely could. And we've seen it. Right. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I don't want to know. No. You know. You don't. I think I like sleeping. And I'm 
starting to get the impression that uh, if I know what you know, there wouldn't be so much sleeping. Terrible takes another drink for me. As Tasha moves toward the end of her first set and the crowd is relaxed and eating and drinking, that's where we're going to stop tonight. And we will pick this up next time. So, uh, thank you very much for your attention. We do appreciate it. It's the highest compliment you could give us. And we hope that next time you'll come back and let us welcome you once more to, into the lands of a Catholic. Good night, everybody.